Yesterday, the unspeakable happened, and now we are all struggling to make sense of the circumstances surrounding these deaths. District Attorney Rachel Rollins says 40-year-old Erin Pascal very likely threw her own children off the garage, 4-year-old Allison and 1-and-a-half-year-old Andrew, before falling to her own death. Were very likely a double murder-suicide. Their unconscious bodies were discovered on the sidewalk next to the Renaissance parking garage around 1.30 Christmas Day. On the upper floor, the family's SUV with two car seats inside. This entire family in a matter of minutes, aside from the father who survives them, is gone. Very few details are being released about what preceded the horrific tragedy, other than that a 911 call was placed from the family home in West Roxbury earlier before. We aren't aware of any kidnapping complaints. Five deaths have now occurred at this parking garage over the last seven months, including that of Boston College student Al Happy uh, 2020, y'all. I'm going to keep it short and brief. You know what I'm saying? I said 219 is a wrap. Off to the next year. Um, right before the year ended, there was a suicide homicide. And to me, it was one of the most disturbing. Uh, I've seen for a while because it, to me it touched me. Right here what we're driving by is a daycare. And um, I, for the past year and a half, two years, I, I pick up my daughter every other day here at daycare, you know? My little baby girl, man. And um, a woman jumped off this building right here with her two kids, man. The bitch took the two kids with her, man. You know? I mean, mental health is for real, dog. I, I really try not to ever judge anybody going through whatever, because you don't know what goes inside people's minds, man. But um, it was right there. They had some candles there for a while, but I guess they, they took it down, dog. Right here, this, this garage right here by college. Um, you know, I really wish whatever people go through in their own world, take yourself, man. Don't take the kids with you, man. What they got to do with anything, man? Oh, we're passing this college right here in Northeastern Territory, right across the street. Housing projects that last left of Ruggles, uh, Ruggles Street. As you can see, they uh, tore down all the rest. They already halfway building um, the development. Anyway, man, I, rest in peace to those two kids, man. They were like five and three or four and three or something like that. They didn't even get to live life, dog. They didn't even get to see kindergarten dog they didn't even get to they didn't even get to enjoy life man life cut short i don't believe it so again it, it, it touched my heart it touched home for me being so close near and dead just to a, an area that i'm familiar with and being a father Take, take mental health. Don't take mental health lightly, dog. Anybody that's in in your life, family member, friend, a significant other, don't don't take it, any signs of mental health lightly. If you can't help, you know what I'm saying. If you can't help, you know, talking shit about people, laughing at people, what's that gonna do? If you can't do nothing, don't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of people out there that use depression and and, and, and mental health as a cop out or an excuse. And some people, um, they they abuse the term, right? <laughs> some people are so pitiful out there, like they just looking for sympathy. Nah, not those people. Not those people that just talk and talk and do the same thing over and over and, and don't try to get help. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a doctor though. 
I'm not one to diagnose anybody. Just be familiar with the signs, and, and if you can get people help, if you can, you can, man. At the end of the day, it's hard to help anybody else but yourself out here. This shit is not a game. Um, get your paper right, get your education right, get your career right. To all, all the, the youngins out there, um, you know, stabilize yourself, man. Get Prepare yourself for the future because I don't care if you hustling and things is good right now. You 20, 21, and 19 or whatever and that dope money coming, trust me, dog. I was there, man. I thought it would never end, dog. I thought it would never end, you feel me? Wait till 20 years later, man. After some kids, after some after some more life uh, tribulations, then let's see how, how things are looking. If you if you made it for the long run, if there's any longevity in, in that. You don't even gotta be a hustler. You could just not have plans for your future. Like this shit is for real, man. Get yourself situated. Make sure the the woman that you are or the man that you have kids with is somebody that you're gonna rock with for the long time, because that is a death sentence. You know what I'm saying? You're doomed. That's why so many people are deadbeats. Because it's easier to just jump ship and say, I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. This shit will fucking break you down. The pressures of poverty are not no joke. I'm trying to tell y'all something, man. Trying to tell y'all something, man. Putting you on a little bit of game. You can take it, you can not. I don't give a fuck. Um, so, happy 2020. Rest in peace to those kids, to that mother. I'm not doing these shits no more this year. You know what I'm saying? It's not what I want to put my energy towards. So anybody following this page, I might if I come across something in my path like I always do but it's definitely not what I'm putting my energy towards this year y'all so you know happy 2020 let's put our minds towards some other shit you feel me that's what I'm on I'm trying to I'm trying to drive around some multi-million dollar estates you know what I'm saying I, I want to see different things I want to put my mind and energy and the power of attraction towards other things, man. Fuck this shit. Peace.